Hello, I am Clark Underwood. And I'm Hillary Underwood. And this is going to be our first episode of Underwood Garage. That does not mean that we know anything about cars. That does not make us an authority, but we are going to document us attempting a restoration in our garage. Woo! So that's how we named it Underwood Garage. <laughs> are you ready now? Yeah. You have to do it without laughing. This is, this is serious. So, you may or may not know this, but we have already once bought a Volkswagen van, restored it, and then went on a trip. We sold it. We thought, eh, maybe not do that ever again. Then we thought. Then Hillary said, Clark, let's get another bus and do it again. And I thought, yeah. you're crazy. And it was like, we learned all of these things from the first time. So why waste that knowledge? So we went and picked up this bus. I'm going to cut to a montage of that footage. We're headed down the final driveway to where this bus is residing. Morrisville? Morrisville! Oh, you don't watch it up there. Come on, boy, it's a hillbilly up there. I told us Morrisville is a hillbilly. You may have to shorten me up. Said the guy with a very thick country accent. I don't know where in the hairy heck we are, but <laughs> we're going to some tire shop because the, the tires on the bus will not haul all the way home. There's no way. We would have a blowout, and we've done that before, so we've wised up. Would you just look at that? You just look at it? Look at that thing following us. Uh, I wouldn't say it was an easy capture, but it's ours. Six hours later. We won't be home till late tonight, but we got it. Let me show you the motor. I think that the motor would be in the car, but the motor is not. Car. This guy's bust. Oh, he's got killer artwork. So this time when we bought the V-Dub, we knew what to look for. Last time, first time we bought a bus, um, we were like, yes, it runs, we can drive it home. But then it had massive holes in the floor. Yeah, tons and tons of rust. So this time around, we thought, hey, let's get a bus that has not as much rust. So this one has a fraction of the rust, but everything mechanically, toast, roached. Pretty, yeah. pretty bad. So, uh, so we've got a good body. We got a good body, and uh, basically, That's what we it. learned from the other bus, all bodywork, is going to be important here, but not nearly as important. And we have inherited lots of mechanical things to learn, so it'll be an adventure all the way around. Yeah, but we learned that bodywork is a lot harder. It is like a work of art compared to the mechanical aspect. With bodywork, it's so hard to With, cover up flaws. Yeah. With bodywork, there's no like right answer. It's just like an art. Yeah. And with mechanical stuff, you can do research, you can ask people, you get parts, there are answers. So I wanted to take that angle. Yeah. Instead of spending hundreds of hours. Yeah. Sanding. I spent so much time <laughs> sanding. So here we are outside, we're going to try and move the bus from the backyard into the garage to begin working on it. Let's see how this works. <laughs> we don't know if it has any brakes. <laughs> Hillary so is going to be... put me in there. <laughs> Hillary's going to be driving the <laughs> bus. I'm going to be pulling in the Jeep and we'll see how this goes. Moving ever so slightly. Alright Hillary, you got this, you got this. Don't run 
into the house. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Must have come unhooked. That was very good maneuvering though. I saw you get like within an inch of me. I, I like, know. I was like slamming on the brake and I was like nothing. Okay, maybe I'm just gonna try and push it now. I know, maybe it was a close one. Almost rear-ended the Jeep, because I don't have any brakes in this bad boy. Yeah! Neighbors, thank you. Woohoo! Thank you, neighbor. A comprehensive list of all of the things that need to be done. By comprehensive, I mean very loose and current knowledge of what's going on here. And this is like, if we don't mess anything up, this is what we're gonna work on. But it's more likely gonna be like three times as long because we're gonna mess something up. Mess, I'll mess it all up. <laughs> the, the thing is, you can do everything over again. Yeah. 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 You can like, break it and then redo it. Like we got a big list. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Single handle, gas tank. Cabinets? Gas tank check, cabinets, rear hatch, bottle okay. cable, battery. Okay, it looks like. So y'all buckle in. I can do, I can do these. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can do this one. You can do. I mean, window, I'll do the seals with you, I'll do. The brakes, I can test those. Mm -hmm. By day, I am a graphic designer and I design lots of t-shirts and put them up in my web store. And if you go there and purchase one, then all the proceeds go to help rebuild this bus. Yeah, so if you like the content, if you enjoy the show, please uh, help yourself out and help us out. Yeah, I mean, why would you why want to wear? Why? Get a t Get a t-shirt. T-shirt? Manifest destiny, y'all. How are you? Be sure to subscribe to join on this adventure as we work on this 1970 Volkswagen Westfall. Yeah. See you later.